So this is a little video about using NX and Product Template Studio and uh, NX Optimization to, to approach a, a handle balance problem, a rotational uh, static balance problem. Um, a few years ago, I was in my hometown and uh, visited the uh, Children's Discovery Museum there with my, uh, my father and my kids. And uh, we, we were looking at this kind of Rube Goldberg machine here that uh, was rolling pool balls around and, and making lots of noise and it was a fun fun thing but the the handle down there caught my eye actually because that handle was very very well balanced you see that it, it has a, a metal uh, knob sticking out that, that obviously has mass on one side of the handle but you could stop that handle anywhere and it would just stay stay in place so it was balanced very nicely and on the other side of that handle there was a, a counterweight on the opposite side of the wheel that uh, that kept it very nicely balanced and i went home and i thought how would i do that in nx and, and so I came up with a, a simple proof of concept model here that uh, i thought i'd share with you so so here i've got that handle a simple you know simplified handle modeled here on a on a, a basic plate uh, on the back side here this is uh, hollowed out just for fun and uh, and then i've got some mass added just 180 degrees on the other side of the circle from that handle here to, to simulate that situation and uh, and then to to achieve achieve the objective here, I've got a, an associative mass measurement that's creating that point center of gravity point uh, that's there in the middle. So so as we adjust the the size of this counterweight here, that center of gravity point is going to move around inside here. And basically, we're going to try to drive that point to the uh, the x axis, the central ax center axis here, rotational axis of our handle uh, with this model. So, so to do that, I've, I've wrapped a, a little product template interface around this particular model here, and uh, I'm just changing a couple parameters. We'll play with the size of the overall size of this in just a minute, but uh, but essentially we have a counterweight offset that's a, an offset down here at the bottom that's going to change our mass. So as we as we uh, adjust this number, we can click that up and down or, or type in a number here. Uh, of course, you'll see our offset change here, and that center of gravity point there moves as well. Um, I think I've got a limit built into this. If I try to go to zero, it'll give me a warning that this, uh, I know the model's robust between about two and 16. You get less, less than two and the offset starts to fall apart down here. And uh, I'm curious what's going on at 16. Oh yeah, we're about to <laughs> run across the center line of 16. So, uh, so somewhere in the middle there, uh, and again, you see that center of gravity point moving around as we do that adjustment. Here we've got a measurement actually between that point and that center axis. And, uh, and we're feeding that measurement back to the dialog here as a read-only value uh, so that we can we can see what's going on there. So we could kind of manually dial that in, right? And click that to, uh, to get close to, to get that number down low. Um, the other thing we can do here is embed an optimization study inside this, this product template. And, uh, and that lets us poke the button here and, and automatically drive, uh, essentially set that, uh, use that counterweight offset value to, to drive this CG dis distance to zero. Uh, so to set that up uh, in Product Template Studio, of course, you, you'd go first to, uh, to optimization. Let me get tools there, there we go. And, and set up that, that static balance study first. So we've got that projected distance with the target value of zero. We want that distance again between the point and the, and the, uh, uh, the, the axis to go to zero. And we'll use that counterweight uh, there as the, um, the offset as the uh, the driving value there and so as we do that um, we don't have any constraints on that problem it really is a, a really a simple goal seek kind of a problem there right but that study is called static balance and, and inside product template studio here as we build that UI uh, we can choose here that uh, that optimization study static balance we can add that to our our dialog and that'll create that button that we were talking about right in that button there, we can label it, of course, to put in a tooltip and so forth. Choose the optimization algorithm we want to use with this particular one. This one's a nice linear gradient problem, so Powell's probably the fastest answer on that particular one. And um, and that's that's how we add that to the uh, that's how we add that to the uh, the product template dialog, right? So with that in place, uh, again, we can come and uh, as we edit this particular guy, uh, manipulate that manual if we want to. But again, we can come and, and poke this this now. And again, what we're going to see is that that center of gravity point wiggle around a bit as the offset moves around, and, and we'll see that drive to that center axis. So we'll do that. It'll iterate a few times, 
and, and would get us there within a, a few thousandths of the uh, of the uh, uh, the center axis, right? Uh, and if we change the size of this thing, overall size of this this guy, right? Say, uh, let's go to 60 just for fun. And um, as we do that there, of course, our, our handle is the same size and, and it's moving uh, moving farther away. And so our, our center of gravity point here is, is changing a little bit. Um, you see our, our distance has increased there to about 0.3. So here again, we can poke that optimization and drive that into, uh, drive that into a, a very tight uh, uh, convergence. Right. So uh, again, real simple example, but uh, but this one is showing again the ability to to drive a parametric model to some to some desired state here using an optimization inside product template. Hope you find that useful.